What's up guys, uh, Nelson Kwasi here with AgentFire.com. This is actually our first episode of The Spark, and so I'm gonna make it a good one. Uh, we're gonna talk about Trulia and Zillow, really specifically Zillow, because Zillow owns Trulia anyway, right? Uh, and you know what, that, what the effect of, of Zillow has had on real estate websites, and the effect that it will continue to have in 2017 and beyond. Zillow does search, right? Most agent websites are basically, uh, it's a template base site. Uh, they've got their IDX search with the force registration page. There's no real value. They're basically trying to do the exact same things that Zillow is already doing and they're not doing it nearly as well. And so the, the, the keys to focus on for 2016, 17 and beyond are really um, hyper local, right? We're now fully in the age of transparency. And so when I say that, uh, people don't buy a toothbrush without re like reading Amazon reviews for it, right? So your website is is, is, is really a great opportunity to establish you, uh, your team, your brokerage as absolute experts and authority in a specific target market. And so when I say that, whereas Zillow is very, um, very broad stroke, there, there's a lot of width, but there's not a lot of depth, right? And, and so with your website, you have the opportunity to really go in depth with the specific target area that you guys are focused on. So when I say that, uh, the domain name should focus on the specific area. All of the content should be catered to and focus on providing value to the people within that target demographic. So that may be uh, a specific area, that may be uh, a specific you know, 55 and up, retirement communities, golf course, homes, uh, in a specific area. Whatever it is, you wanna build this website to basically not only focus on the specific area, but really just establish you as the expert in that area. If I'm a buyer or I'm a seller in this specific area or in this specific demographic uh, this is a site that is clearly dedicated to me right um, you can do that by also as I mentioned uh, just reviews and testimonials we are now fully in the age of transparency so if you guys have you uh, have your clients leaving you reviews that's awesome the deeper you can go the, the better the result you're gonna have um, if you guys are using Facebook or Instagram or snapchat which a lot of you guys are there are all sorts of ways to make sure that this stuff is lever you want to make sure that this stuff is you know really leveraged into the site if you write uh, a blog post you should be sharing it to your different uh, social networks. People that come from the social networks should be able to comment uh, with their, at least with their Facebook account, right? So if you're trying to rank organically with your website, uh, Zillow is basically is dominating a lot of that top level stuff, right? So now you need to go deeper. But again, that's what you should be doing with your website. So you're not going to rank for specific cities unless you're in a really, really non-competitive area or just a non-population dense area. It's pretty much impossible to rank for, for a lot of that top level stuff, right? But if you uh, go deeper, so if you create pages targeted for specific school districts, uh, specific neighborhoods, specific lifestyles within specific areas. These are all things that you can still rank very well for organically. This is the sort of stuff that provides value. If you think about the mindset of someone that types in um, Florida homes for sale, right? So not only is that something you're not going to rank for, if you're doing AdWords, you're going to spend way too much money. Um, and it's just, it, it, someone that types in Florida homes for sale is very uh, early in the process. Now, someone that types in a specific neighborhood or a specific school district, or again, they're searching for golf homes in a specific area of Florida. This is the sort of stuff that you can really zero in on, provide a ton of value to those end users. And it's the, this is where, if you're trying to rank organically, this is, this is where the opportunity is. Let's say, for example, 55 and up, right? You can, and you're running AdWords and Facebook marketing. You set up a page that's specifically targeted for people that are searching for 55 and up homes in a specific area. As you probably already know, with Google and with Facebook, you can set up location targeting. So you can make the keyword uh, 55 and up. You can make sure that the location targeting is only targeting that specific area. And if you've got this page that is now just, you, and is just entirely focused on 55 and up, you can just point people directly to that page where, so you know, you've got information about 55 and up, and then you've got some sort of uh, basic lead capture or call to action on the bottom that says, you know, for more information or to work with me because I'm an awesome experienced agent and my focus is 55 and up, you know, that, that's the sort of stuff that not only are you going to definitely generate leads and conversions, but this is like high quality stuff. You can generate leads very easy, right? You just set up a basic campaign, you point it to your website, maybe you point it to a, a force registration, an IDX page on your site that has force registration, uh, and you can generate a lot of leads, but the ROI on this stuff is not gonna be as good. You're gonna end up with a lot of crap leads. When you start to get specific and hyper-local, not only are you gonna generate leads organically, but the stuff that you're doing with AdWords and with Facebook marketing, you're gonna have much better ROI and much better conversions and much higher qualified leads.